On a cold wintry morning, Emperor Akbar and Birbal were taking a walk along the lake. A thought came to Birbal that a man would do anything for money. He shared the thought with the Emperor. The Emperor Akbar, who was standing at the edge of the lake, stooped and touched the water of the lake. He immediately removed it because the water was so cold that it made him shiver. Emperor said, I don't think a man would ever be willing to spend an entire night in the cold water of this lake for money. People replied, I am sure I can find such a person. Emperor Akbar challenged people to find such a person. He added that he would reward the person with a thousand gold coins if he accomplished the feat. Birbal searched far and wide until he found a poor man who was in need of money. He was so desperate that he accepted the challenge at once. At night, he entered the lake to spend the entire night in cold water. Emperor Akbar posted two of his guards near him to make sure that he could not cheat. The next morning, the guards took the poor man to the emperor, who asked him if he had indeed spent the night in the lake. The poor man replied that he had, and the two guards confirmed that he had indeed spent the entire night in the water. Emperor Akbar then asked the poor man how he had managed to spend the entire night in such cold water. The poor man answered with his head bent low, My lord, my lord, there was a lamp burning in your palace for much of the night. I kept my attention fixed on the lamp and away from the cold. This way I thought little of how cold the water of the lake was. Emperor Akbar became angry at hearing this. He thundered, There will be no reward for this man. It is clear that he cheated in the challenge last night. He could survive the night in the cold lake because of the warmth of the palace lamp. Go away, you liar, and never show me your face again. The poor man was very disappointed. He asked Birbal to help him. Birbal soon thought of an idea. The next day, Birbal did not go to the court. Emperor Akbar wondered where he was. He sent a messenger to his home. The messenger returned to the palace saying that Birbal would come once the khichdi was cooked. The emperor waited for hours, but Birbal did not come to the court. Finally, Emperor Akbar decided to go to the Birbal's house and see what he was really up to. He found Birbal sitting on the ground near some burning twigs and an earthen pot filled with khichdi hanging several feet above the fire. The emperor and his attendants couldn't help but laugh. Emperor Akbar asked Birbal rather sternly, how can you cook the khichdi if it is so far away from the fire? Birbal smiled and answered politely, the same way the poor man received the heat from a palace lamp that was furlongs away. Emperor Akbar realized his mistake. He called the poor man to the palace and gave him his reward.